It's Friday night and you've got nothing better to do, which can mean only one thing. It's time for Since the Last Show with your hosts, Mac, Will Andres and Jiffy McGuffin, and Gracie, <laughs> reserved for Canada, Miss Hampus. We're back, we're back, and one week later than usual. I'm the one late, full blame on Mac. Again, I'm sorry I fell asleep. Thanks for coming, though. I'm still baffled, baffled by your micro hibernation, sleep a week, live a week schedule. People always say that I should get a lot of sleep before finals. Now I realize that I did it a week early. According to the calendar, I'm going to be asleep for finals week. I wonder if my professors will let me change the test days until uh, after my next hibernation week. Somehow I don't think so, and if they do, I will only be angrier with you. Gracie, you would be surprised how far I can make it with a nice smile and a good wink. <laughs> Just you wait, we'll be up at NYU together next year publishing Publishing, and I can't write good words at all. Before I do something extremely regrettable, just a week before I blow this popsicle stand, let's get into some world news. Japan, a place I'd never like to live at this point, is having a potato chip shortage. Much like the Irish potato famine, this incident is being dubbed the Japanese potato recession. But this is worse than the potato famine because these are fried, cooked, and already cut potatoes. Somehow I feel that you really should not have said that and should stop talking. <laughs> a train station in India today had a fun PR day after hackers used the monitors in the station to play hardcore pornography. <laughs> Which seems out of left field because India censored the word lesbian in a movie. I honestly don't think they showed the porn on purpose, Mac. What? That shatters my entire understanding of the story. I thought the guy was trying to see if the TV worked and put on porn because porn is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Pelican knocked a drone out of the skies in Jamaica last week, and apparently the attack on the drone was intentional. I hope our military learns a lesson from this one. It wasn't a military drone, Mac. It was just someone's toy. Well, I'm afraid that as a director of Zolt of the Fund, the U.S. has already put it changes into effect. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I already recruited some for when the government collapses. Nothing beats a Pelican. <laughs> I hope you are never in charge of an army, not even in risk. A nice smile and a good wig. <laughs> all it takes. All it takes. Moving right along into national news, we've all heard about the United Airlines, but let's summarize it anyway. A doctor on an overbooked United Airlines flight was beaten and removed from his seat by security when no one offered theirs. Here to comment is the United Airlines security guard who beat the doctor. <laughs> United Airlines would really like to apologize to people who are upset by the noise created by this incident. We've put a different training into effect to be better suited to create a quiet in-flight environment. Wait, have you still not apologized to the man that you beat? Why have you not apologized to the man who was beaten? Look, I just really don't see how... <laughs> Also, compared to giraffes, we're all little bitches. 
Giraffes stand up and walk like 45 minutes after birth. Do you know this giraffe has her own website and clothing line? The baby giraffe will be relocated after weaning in order to avoid inbreeding. You know what I say, no one tips me across the country to keep me from having sex with my cousin. <laughs> oh, I sincerely hope they don't have them. Our communal board and savior, Bill Nye, <laughs> is getting a series on Netflix, and apparently the theme song is written by Tyler, the creator. Wait, so our Lord and the creator are working as one? <laughs> I surely cannot fathom a more synergetic duo. And in an exciting turn of events, we have an exclusive peek at the theme for you all. This. Oh, those are the new ones. They must be really nice. 
Actually, they've still been under construction all semester, but uh, I guess they're getting nicer. Then why in the world are you tipping P trips to live in a building that's still under construction? Actually, according to Tribble's theory, construction looks great aesthetically on a college campus. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm living at the heart of it all, and surely getting my daily doses of iron from the fillings I am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I love waking up to the shutters banging on my wall because seeing you will neither fix them or let us fix them. A slight breeze and boom, boom! There they are telling me that they love me and that I should definitely be awake at 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> on the subject of seeing you construction, the alumni house is done. Here to tell us about what he thinks it's there for is our very own Adam Spencer. <laughs> Anytime, Adam. So, what would you like to start out with about the alumni house? Well, I haven't actually been able to find it. Someone <laughs> told me it's on the corner of CNU where I probably have never been, but I thought I had been everywhere, so I told them they were a fucking liar and I beat some sense into them. <laughs> Isn't it in the McMurray parking lot? What, that corner where nothing should be? Why would they put anything there? <laughs> no one passes that area. How will the alumni rule CNU from the shadows if they're out <laughs> if uh, they're that out of the way? Well, after finding absolutely nothing in the way of evidence as to the function of the alumni house, I logically deduce that there is no other fathomable reason for alumni to return to CNU and live there for some period of time, then to watch over the populace from within and use their students to lord over us as some sort of terrifying secret organization. Probably has to do with that society of the severed hand that keeps emailing me. <laughs> you just got one? Anyway, you're saying that all you have on the Lumpet House is a theory based on a total lack of evidence? Damn straight. Adam <laughs> Spencer, everybody! <laughs> I wish I could say that I could drown my confusion in the Mongolian grill, but as we all know... Don't remind me, because the answer does not accept what we're going to discuss on stage, Mac. From SLS, I'm Mac, bringing sexy back McGuffin. Mac Gracie, I want to get off Mr. Tribble's wild ride. Thank you all. You're beautiful. <laughs>